Text your girlfriends, I am your girlfriends, and let them know that she's on live, honey. Live from my bed, honey. What's the tea? What's the shade? What's the drama, honey? We up in the place and shit like that. Text your girlfriends, I am your girlfriends, and let them know I'm on live. Today... In the Bronx on 183rd Street in Park Avenue, the icon, Nicole Kahn, will be having her annual school drive cookout today in the Bronx. Hey, Janetta, what's going on? So if you have children that are in grade school and going back to school and they need school supplies, Nicole will definitely be having her cookout this afternoon in the Bronx. Definitely attend. School supplies is on site. Book bags, pens, and everything will be given out to the children. She's doing her give back today like I did uh, two weeks ago. So definitely do go out and um, support my sister and be a part of her school drive. I see on Facebook she all the book bags are packed and ready to go. She has a lot of food that she is cooking and things of that nature. So definitely do go out and uh, support Nicole in her uh, school drive. If you're coming through, bring some school supplies. Everything definitely does help when it comes to the children and people that are in need. So make sure y'all uh, tap up to the Bronx, honey, and see the icon, honey. I'll be there. I'm going to be going through a little later. Honey, and I'm pumping on through to the school drive cookout in the Bronx. So, girls, make sure you come out. Bring your kids, honey. Everybody else that ain't bringing kids, baby, make sure you bring school supplies. Or you bring a donation, okay? Because uh, everything definitely does help. And you know it, it becomes overwhelming when you have a lot of kids come. And you don't have, uh, you know, a lot of stuff. So, bring more school supplies. She needs them, Okay? Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Let's get it, honey. Let's get to the Bronx. Let's bring those school supplies through, honey. Let's make it happen. Let it, let it do what it do because we could do it, bitch, okay? So definitely do uh, come out to the Bronx. Bring your kids out if you got kids. Come out, have a good time, eat, drink, and just be you and have a good time. And then if you're invited... Because this is only invite only. So I'm not going to give the location. You're trying it. What do you mean I'm trying it? How am I trying it? Oh my God. What did I do wrong now? Yes, Janetta. What did I do wrong? I'm promoting the cookout. And I'm telling people to bring more school supplies. So how am I trying it? I am gagging. I am really gagging at this lady. This is the first time. You know, Nicole does this on. Oh, wait, hold on. My Ted told on. Let me fix my Ted, honey. I can't be having them out on cam, honey. Hold on. Nicole is, Nicole is really trying it right now. And this is. No, this is. Uh, must, what happened? This is the first time I ever went live from my bed. Usually I'm sitting up at the uh, computer desk, Sonny. I'm gagging at her, honey. I'm uh, promoting for the people to come out and bring more school supplies and everything. And she telling me I tried it. What am I doing wrong? Am I doing something wrong, Nicole? Please let me know. Okay? Please let me know if I'm doing something wrong, Nicole. Because if I am, I would delete the live. And I, I will delete the live and I will start over. Honey, so please let me know. I need to know. Okay? Oh, and shout outs to everybody. You keep saying laugh out loud, bitch, but you're not saying nothing. Please let me know. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, Janetta. She telling me I'm trying this, so please let me know because I will start the live over. I don't know. I will start the live over and I won't, uh, you know. So please let me know, honey. 
I want to shout out to all the girls that have been hitting my grandson up for their destinies here, for their good here, their bundles. I just got up and got up out the bed, honey, and I said, let me get on live, honey, and um, throw some water in my hair, honey, and pick the bundles and let the bundles down for the live, honey. Shout out to everybody that's been hitting my grandson up to get your destinies in your future. Destiny's Hair is a, definitely a good company, good hair. Had this hair in for over a month. If anybody, well, well, if anybody sees me tonight or today at Nicole's uh, cookout or at the Unbothered cookout, you know, you can come up and uh, touch my hair and feel it and feel how soft it is and everything, honey. Because um, Tuesday night I'll be taking this out and I'll be putting my neck set in. So, but it's always about the destinies. Where's this ball at? I don't know nothing about this ball, and I don't have no ball scheduled for me to be going to any functions next month. Maybe the last, the uh, the first and um, the first and only ball that I'm going to uh, for the month of September will be next week, and then I won't be at no ball for the rest of the month. Do not let all those people touch your hair, mother. Why? If I, I have to, if they want to touch my hair so they can see that the quality of the hair is good and I had it in for over a, a month and a half and it's really good hair, they can touch it, baby. As long as they ain't touching my roots, baby, and trying to pull none of my roots. Probably in Boston. Oh, no. Mm -mm. No. I'm not scheduled to go to no balls. I'm not booked to go to anybody's ball. I just don't attend balls for free this is a business okay it is overwhelming for a bitch like me to come to a ball so this is a business now ballroom is a business okay if you're not one of my girlfriends one of my sisters one of my judies baby i have to be booked to come to your ball because i have a lot that i have to tolerate and deal with to um you know when i come to a ball so a bitch have to a bitch have to book a girl, honey. Yo, what's goody, son? You know who I'm talking to. Um Am I gonna see you up in the Bronx today? I don't wanna put your name out there. You know a lot of people came up in the chat, honey. But uh you know who you are. Am I gonna see you over that way? Are you coming out? Like yes, God. Yes, bitch, this is a, it's all about our business, it's about the change, but yeah. The destinies, the bundles. As long as the girls ain't touching my roots and trying to pull none of my real hair, baby, to do no, you know, voodoo or some type of shit on me, they can touch the destinies. Maybe it's it's good here though. Look at the quality of it. Just a little bit of water, no mousse, none of that. You see it? Get into it. Learn it. It's everything. I love my bundles. Businesswoman, yes, son. I am a businesswoman. This is a business. This is a. I'm about to franchise this out. So, you can hit me up on my like page at www.facebook.com forward slash m s k e l l y m i z r a h i, and you can definitely talk to my management team. They run this my like page. And they will definitely work uh, travel and lodging fees if the ball is out of state. And the fee for me to come to a ball or for me to host a party or any of that. We just don't do that for free anymore, bitch. Honey, if you see me at a ball for free, it's because somebody that's promoting the ball is a friend of mine. Or associate of mine, or a sister, or a brother. So that's why I'm at the function. Other than that, no, 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 no. When is the next ball in New York? The next ball. In, the next ball in New York that I'll be at uh, will be Uncle Michael Haynes Ebony Ball, and it's October 29th. At the YWCA on um, in Brooklyn on Third Avenue in Brooklyn. Kelly 
Okay. I definitely will call you, Janetta. Janetta, you going up to the Bronx? I see you up in the Bronx. I'll be up there. I'm coming through. I'll be busting through the Bronx, Sonny. I'll be in the Bronx, Sonny. About to come on through the Bronx. You know, I am used to live up in the Bronx and everything. If you go. Oh, I'm coming. I'll be there. I'll be there, baby. Don't worry, honey. I'll be there. I'll be out in the place. I'm ready, bitch. I'm ready already, honey, baby. This everyday realness. I just gotta, um, I just gotta get up, honey, you know, jump in the shower real quick, you know. I ain't putting on no makeup or nothing, baby. You know, bitch, look good like that. Baby, just throw on a little outfit and shit and hit it out to the Bronx. What's up? How you doing? I don't know what part of the Bronx it is, Jeffrey. I don't know the different parts of the Bronx. I just know where I'm going. I know I'm either going to Hunts Point or I'm going over here. I'm going near, you know. Oh, thank you, Janetta. Thank you. Yes, we, we definitely, we definitely got to do what we got to do, honey. You know, because... If we don't do it, nobody else will. So I will definitely be out to support my sister. I did not know. See, I did not know. My sister didn't explain it. It didn't explain it to me. And I hope she's still here on the live. My sister didn't explain it to me. See, I'm used to my school drop is like the people come and they bring the stuff. And then a couple of weeks later, we give out the stuff. My sister never explained her school drive to me. She just told me that she was having a school drive. I didn't know that she wanted school supplies before the cookout so that the book bags can be packed and all of that stuff. I didn't know that. So she never explained that to me and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm sorry that it wasn't fully explained to me and things of that nature. So, you know, did you get that... Shouts out to you know who. Did you get that dick suck last night? What's up? You know who I, you know who I'm talking to that uh that's on my live. Did you get that dick suck last night? Cause you was playing. Let me tell you, you didn't even you ain't want her to eat the cakes or nothing. But did she at least suck the dick? Okay. Give me some um give me some like emojis or something. Don't comment or nothing. Just give me some emojis or something and let me know. Did she suck the dick last night? Did you at least let her suck the dick? Because you was playing last night before we got off the phone. Okay? Not even a boring person like that. But if you're in New Orleans ever for a bull, I would love to see. I'm trying to come to... I'm trying to... Uh, Hold on. I get it. I'm getting emojis. Hold on. I couldn't see those emojis. Who put, pumped those emojis? Oh, okay. I'm trying to come... I'm trying to come to New Orleans... Just to come to New Orleans. I just want to... i never been to New Orleans before. I want to actually... I actually want to come to New Orleans. I want to make a trip out there. I'm trying to... Uh, one of my cousin's birthdays is coming up. And we're trying to decide if we're going to go... Me, uh, me and my uh, girl cousins. We're trying to decide if we're going to go to Miami or New Orleans. But i never been to New Orleans. And I would love to come to New Orleans. And get a piece of New Orleans. They told me it's cute. In New Orleans, okay? And did y'all see my status I put up yesterday? I made the switch. I'm taking the dick. So I would love to come to New Orleans. How you doing? Oh my God, bitch. Please tell me. So I wake up today and I get on Instagram. And I'm on Instagram and... I, what they, I don't know what they call those pictures that they uh, be making, the emojis or the whatever they call those things, those pictures that they be making with people that they had circulating around with me and Beverly when I was in jail. Why the fuck, baby, they have me all on Instagram, baby. What motherfucking... I just reposted it, though. They had me up there. They took the picture with me and Beverly, took Beverly face out, the memes, yes, the memes. Thank you. You know I'm old. I'm old, niece. 
I'm old, you know, I don't be knowing all of these words and how the kids be breaking and the kids be breaking things down and stuff, bitch. I don't know that shit. People be texting me or hitting me up on uh, Facebook and talk about, um, you want an FT. Bitch, what? FT? What is a FT? They be like, F, I be like, what? They be like, FaceTime. Oh, baby, listen, I'm an old bitch, okay? You got to spell it out. I don't break shit down. I don't break shit down for the kids, okay? Only thing is, only thing I do, I use, because I know what it is, is LOL, laughing my ass off, and stuff like that. Everything else, I write it out. I do not know how to break these things down and this internet talking and this Facebook talking that the kids be doing. Listen. A bitch is old. I am old fashioned. I write it out. When you text me or you send me a message, please do not break shit down, okay? Because you break it down, I'm going to text you back and be like, what? I am old. You have to spell it out when you talk to me. So please do not break stuff down in internet code and texting code or any of that when you are texting with me. Spell it out to me because I'm going to ask you what and you're going to eventually have to spell it out. I'm old. Get it together. So the picture of me and Kool-Aid, they don't change the picture. And now it's me and Young Jock. I am gagging. Really? I'm in a picture with Young Jock looking like drags. Okay. Hey, Deja, what's going on? This is your girlfriend. You are my girlfriend. She is my girlfriend. Now watch. That's my sister Chan if she was over here, honey. That's her that's her introduction, honey, and how she introduced the show, honey. So I'm over here. I'm just chill. I wanna thank everybody. Last night I was really, really could not sleep last night. And I wanna thank the like the little thirty people that was on my live last night that stayed up with me asking me questions and talking with me and stuff last night because I couldn't sleep. So I want to thank y'all for definitely being a part of my live and everything last night and stuff like that. And shit like that. Deja, what time are you going to be ready, Deja? So we can uh, hit it up to the uh, Bronx. Let me know. So we up in the Bronx. We up in the Bronx today. And then after the Bronx... No, I'm not really refreshed. Uh, I'm not really refreshed. I'm just like, you know, I'm just me, honey. I got woke up, baby. I got woke up to plethora of text messages and phone calls um, about somebody. I'm not, I don't mention names and stuff, but I got woke up to a plethora of texts and phone calls. Like, Oh, did you know such and such is dating such and such and da 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 and da 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 and why are y'all texting me and calling me about that? I am Kelly and Kelly is Kelly. I am single. I am not with anyone. I don't care who's dating who or who's sleeping with who. I really don't. So like... Don't call me and be texting me and FaceTiming me and inboxing me about all of these messages about this child with this person, okay? I am so happy and thankful that they are together and I wish them all the best of luck. So if this message gets to y'all, y'all know who y'all are. I wish y'all all the best of luck. Thank you. I, oh, my eyes is just, I love my, I love them too. Baby, these are my eyes, baby. Let me tell you something. Girls, baby, wash face, face on, baby. The eyes never, when I got natural eyes like these, they never come off. My blue ones, I take them off every night. Can't be walking around with blue eyes. But these, I leave them on. Hey, Key, how you doing? What's up, daughter? I'll be down, I'll be down, I'll be down, down, down that way, honey, real soon, honey, okay? Baby, we up in the place. What's up? We here. Deja, what time are you going to be ready to pump out? 
Hey, boo, what's up? Carter, what's up? What's goody? What's up, Brian? Yes, I yes, honey, I'm coming through. Well, I'm coming through if the if I get my if the girls buy my ticket, I'm coming through. Other than that, I ain't coming through. So I'm just being real with you, cause you know, I am a bum broke bitch. Okay, baby, she says for mother. She said for mother. She said for mother. I don't understand. Chilling. Okay, everybody chilling. The Unbothered is having a cookout today, but it's at a secret location, and it's invite only. You know I was invited. So I'm going to go up to Nicole's, and then after I leave Nicole's, uh, sister, you going to the barbecue? I'm going to the uh, barbecue. I'm having a private barbecue. You get to be invited here. Oh, you got to be invited there. Daisy says she will be ready at 4, mother. Oh, she says she'll be ready at 4. What time is it? Daisy, we can't be ready at 4. Nicole is going to read us, Miss Day. We need to get there before the people get there. Okay, because I don't want this lady to read us, Deja, if you're still in the live. Okay? Who barbecue? Do not share it. But I just put something in your inbox. I see, I see, I see it when I get off live. But Deja, we gotta go up there before four o'clock because I think that's what time the people is gonna be getting there. We need to get there before the people get there, Deja, because I don't want this lady reading us, honey. She already read us yesterday on live, girl. We ain't come stuff book bags and stuff with her, girl. Okay, so we need to get there early, sister. Okay. Uh, I don't know what barbecue they talking about. I see two people talking. About, I see my daughter talking about her barbecue that she having in Texas, and I see Brian talking about a barbecue. But I don't know uh, what barbecue. I don't know what barbecue they talking about. Hold on, let me sit up. Hold on, uh. Lord. I am your girlfriend. You and my girlfriend. What? The sun on the face. The sunlight against your face. Oh, yeah, I'll be at Nicole's barbecue. I, I, I wouldn't miss it for the world. If I was to miss Nicole's barbecue, Nicole would read me. She would go on live and read me for filth, for dog shit, honey, and all types of things of that nature. If I was to miss her barbecue, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Everybody knows when they call when they when you call my phone before you call my phone Please check on live to make sure that I'm not on live before you call my phone. I hate to be interrupted on my live, honey baby, you know Shout out To the girls and all the girls are can't and it is what it is. I'm here baby Mother Paris is. I heard y'all having, yeah. You have to hit me up. You have to hit me up in my inbox, and we're gonna and we gotta talk. We gotta talk. We gotta talk off live. We gotta talk off uh live, honey. I need to take a nap first. Okay, well go ahead and take your nap, Deja. Hit me up on off live, and we gonna have to talk, cause I have to see. Uh, we have to. Uh, we have to see. Cause you know, it's a lot with my mother, honey Kelly. I am Jay. Oh, thank you, thank you. You know, I try. I try my best to do. I try my best to do what I can do for the. Um, for the community and everything, I have um, I have a couple of more interviews coming up with uh, some people um, that I'm gonna be sitting down and interviewing with and stuff of that nature. You know, I'm gonna start out and always continue to do the ballroom scene 
you know, but I want to take, I want to branch this off into, you know, sitting down and interviewing the celebrities and, you know, because we do play a critical part and, um, you know, and getting these celebrities out there and buying their music, like, the gay scene is so, bitch, everybody is so Beyonce in the gay scene. Everybody, bitch, and it will be everything to sit down with her and interview her, you know, and stuff with the proper tools and things of that nature. Yeah, I'll hit you up for sure. 2017 is going to be my transition. My transition is now, and I'm transitioning now, baby, okay? Baby, oh, Lord, baby, yes, honey. My destiny, Lord get it yes bitch oh my god I can't wait until next week Hotlanta ball parties drugs sex and rock and roll and a weekend of Hotlanta oh my god but make sure you bitches that's out there in Atlanta and you doing all of those things that I just talked about Please make sure you definitely do have safe sex because the life you save will definitely be your own. Yes! Uh, you can get this here from my grandson. He's uh, he's, com- he's commented on the chat already, so he commented on the chat already so y'all can hit him up. And you can get some of these here from Tyshawn Beckham. His company is called Destiny's Hair. The hair is definitely everything. Deja also has her 30... 28, 26, 24, and 22 from Destiny's here also, baby. So, and I will be, um, I will be having my new, I will be having my new body wave the first time ever. This is the first time ever that I'm going to be doing this because I have never done this because I really don't. I really uh I really don't do this but the first time ever when I go to Texas I'm going to wear a lace front. I'm going to do my 30, my 28, my 26 and my 24 in a lace front and the front of body wave I have never done a lace front. I have done a, a whole lace wig before, but just the lace. And I really didn't like the lace uh, wig that I had. It was cute. I was able to snatch it up in a ponytail. But when I get to Texas, I'm going to have my bundles with my lace front, my full front too. And it's going to be sponsored once again. By Destiny's here, and I want to thank everybody once again that's hitting Tyshawn up the purchase, the purchase here, and everything. So I want to definitely, uh, you know, shout, um, shout Tyshawn out for definitely always sponsoring my hair and giving me my uh, good hair, honey. And you know, like I tell the girls, you send me your hair, I wear your hair, I'll shout you out in all my videos. And all my thousands and thousands of fans will see the quality and the work of your hair. And they will call you and hit you up and want to get some hair from your company. Bitch, I can be your spokesmodel. Do you see the wave in that, bitch? And now just imagine if I was to take and uh, wand curl it up. It would just give you the nasty curl and everything. And that's just water, nothing else. You see how the front is already drying out? One day, I'm going to come on a video one day and I'm going to brush it out. I'm going to brush it out. I need bundles for my client. Well, hit my grandson up. Let him know that um, you was referred <coughs> by the icon mother, Kelly. Baby. And um, he would definitely... Good afternoon, Joel. And he would definitely give you um, a good deal on the bundles. <coughs> And if you in the city, if you in the city in the Bronx and Brooklyn or in Queens, he would definitely come and uh, drive the hair straight to you, honey. Okay. But if you out of state, he'll definitely FedEx it to you overnight delivery, honey. Once he get his coins. Oh, Lord. 
Hi, Dominique. What's going on? Billy, what's going on? Yes. Just, yeah, it's just water. No, no shade, bitch. Just water. Hold on. I'm going uh, to give y'all a little... What? Hold on. Let me pick this cigarette out. Let me get a... Out of it. Where's my brush? Oh, my brush is over here. Just water. So... I take the hair and catch. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me give it to you. See? Get into it. I want y'all to get into it. Okay? You see? I'm brushing it out. Nothing in it. The brush goes straight through everything. No chemicals or nothing in the hair. Get into it. No chemicals or nothing in the hair. No, oh, yeah, eventually one day I'll stop smoking. No chemicals or nothing in the hair. The brush just flows straight through the hair. And this is how she looks when she's all nice and big. She looks like this. Hold on. Now we about to transition into the bathroom. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if somebody's in here. Oh, okay. My mother's in that one. Okay, my mother was in the little bathroom. So we're gonna go in the in, we gonna go in the big bathroom. So we here in the big bathroom, right? And this is how the hair looks when it's just brushed out and it's just poofy. It gives you this when it's just brushed out and poofy. It's an Italian wave. This is what it gives you. So, hold on, okay. So that's what it gives you. So then I take the water, and then I just run the water through it. Just like that, with the water. That's it, just the water. Y'all see, I ain't got a lot of y'all. Baby, you know. Just the water, and y'all see? Just with the water. Hold on, let me get some down here. No chemicals, no nothing. Just the water, and she's back. Bam! Just with the water. Just that quick, just with the water. Nothing else. Nothing else, nothing more, nothing less. Just the water, and she's back. Baby, I don't got a lot of y'all, baby. That's the hair. Destiny's hair. Bitch, just the water, and she's back. Baby, you see? That's it. That's the Destiny's hair. No mousse, no conditioner, none of that stuff in this hair at all, honey. She can also be pressed out to be straight and everything. Learn her, bitch. That's my grandson, Tasha Milan, honey. The Italian curl, honey. Baby, and I love it. I love every minute of it, honey. Okay? Baby, that's the Italian curl. Bitch, did y'all see how I just brushed it out and made that shit look like uh, Tina Turner, baby, and, and just threw the water up in she, honey, and just made her like this, smooth and chic. The water even put a shine to it. You see, without the water in it, it looked it dewy without the water in it. But once I put the water in it, the water gave it, the, brung the texture back and the shine and everything to it. So, Tashawn Beckham on Facebook. Please leave a message in the inbox and he will definitely hit you back up. Please do not post on his wall because if you're not a friend, he doesn't see the messages unless he checks, unless he goes to the spam. So send a message, send a friend's request and let him know. I watched one of uh, your grandmother lives and I want to get some of that here from Destiny's here. And you can have Destiny's in your future.
bitch, get into it, honey. This is what I do every morning when I get up. Baby, just throw the little water in it and just go. Bitch, get into her. She's everything. I love my I love my hair. That's why everybody keeps saying, oh, are you going to cut your hair off? No. I can't cut my hair off. Because then I'm going to have to wear lace wigs all the time. Because then I'll be gagging without my hair. And especially when I have destiny in my future. What's up, Naima? How you doing? What's good, E? Okay. So what do y'all got planned for today out there? Everybody that's on the live. What y'all got planned for today? Honey, because I'm going to the cookout. I'm going to Nicole cookout. And then from Nicole cookout, I'm going to the unbothered cookout, honey. Baby. And my girlfriend, Roxanne, if you're in the New York City area, just hit me up. Hit me up. And I'll get you a book in with Roxanne, honey. Roxanne sews down. She braids you down like an African, and she sews down and everything, honey. Okay? Baby. Hey, Shacha. What's good, Eve? This here is from Tashawn's company, uh, Naima, from Destiny's Hair. It's from Destiny's Hair. This is the Italian. This is the Italian curl, and he can also, and he also, he also makes, he also sells hair. He also makes uh, wigs. Also, he also dyes the hair if you want the hair um, in another color. And everything he does it and all of that stuff too. So, you know, it's everything, bitch. Like, you can't beat this, honey. I'm gonna do a promo. I'm gonna do a promo with my destinies here. Like I just did on this video. I'm gonna make it all nice and big and then show all the girls that you know. All you gotta do with this here is just get in the shower. Baby, but you know, some girls pick. I don't understand. The only time I get um, like a spritz and oil sheen in my hair is when um, I first get it done. Roxanne, a spritz and oil sheen this down. But I don't pick chemicals in my hair at all for no reason whatsoever. No oil sheen, no mousse, none of that stuff. I don't use all of that uh, type of stuff when I press my hair out. Or any of that stuff. It, it really damages the quality of the hair and all of that stuff. What's going on? Uh, what's going on, you? How you been? Shout out to um, Justin Ruff. Just entered the chats. What's going on with you? How you been? Um, I'm going to have to hit him up and see how much he charged. He got good prices, uh, Naima. Hit him up and tell him you was referred by his grandmother. Okay. He got the good grandmother discount. It's called the good grandmother discount when y'all hit him up. He has the good grandmother discount for the girls that want to get their hair. So, you know, get your hair. Get out there. Get your hair. Do what you got to do. So what is everybody doing on the Saturday? We're not going to sit here and keep talking about my hair. What are y'all doing, to, uh, what are y'all doing uh, today for this beautiful uh, Saturday? Ali Kwan, did you finish that outfit that you were sewing this morning? Baby, you know what I hate, Amber. Hey, Amber. Yes, for the hair. Yes, I hate when people. Uh, yes, Grandma for the good Grandma discount. Yes, Sonny, he got the good Grandma discount. That's what it's called, the good Grandma discount. Hit my grandson up for the good Grandma discount. You know what I hate? People come on your live and. They don't even uh they don't even speak. They just be on the live. Like every time I go on somebody live, I always say hi. They see my name, I say hi. Even if I don't stay on the live, I say hi and whatever. They just just come and they just be lurking. Like what y'all gonna see? They only be little strip tees. Do 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 boom 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 do 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 do. Boom, 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 boom. Shout out to my sister. Shout out to my sister Monique Khan. Shout out to her. Shout out to my sister Nicole. Shout out to my sister Naima. Shout out to my sister Alexis. Shout out to my sister Deja, honey. Shout out to my sister Aisha, honey. All my sisters and stuff. Shout out to them, you know. 
Yeah, Naima, they do that all the time, honey. They come on the live, bitch, and they just, they come on and you see them, they peek their head in. They don't even say nothing or anything. I be gagging. Honey, good afternoon, love. How have you doing? How you doing, baby? I'm doing fine in yourself, baby. How you doing down there, too, baby, with your uh, hearts and your emojis, honey? How you doing? Um, yes, we are here, baby. We are up on the live, honey. Oh, wait, bitch. Hold on. Because my breasts just be carrying, honey. Hold on. I couldn't answer that call. He should already know the answer to why I didn't answer his call, honey, okay? Baby, he has to call me back. That's my little boo. That's my boo. My boo boo. My son calling me. But I got to call him back. He got to call me back. He might call again. Kelly now. Kelly now what? What's up? Jada, what's up? Floyd, what's up? What's up? Kelly, now what? I didn't show my tits. What do you mean I show my tits? I didn't show my tits. I did not show my tits, baby. Trust me, baby. You ain't see nothing, honey, okay? I did not show my tits at all, baby. I would not uh, give that, honey. Baby, you know the girls would love to um, have a video or something of me doing something like that and uh, things of that nature, honey. Why? <laughs> Will you see... <clears throat> I guess y'all must be talking about in the beginning of the live when I was adjusting myself. Cause it, I had to tell my son, I had to tell my son I had to call him back. He has to call me back. Hey Justin, what's going on? Um Let me tell you something. You know who I'm talking to, okay? You are so fucking late. I know. I know you I know you see my message that I put up in the Mizrahi group, okay? And you did not respond back to my message. And I feel highly upset and disrespected that you did not respond back to my message. Okay? Because baby, I don't get up if y'all if anybody knows me, baby, I do not get up for no one, bitch. Everybody say, bitch, I am the one of the sternest judges there is. I have no expression to my face. I sit there and I stare and I don't say nothing or give you a look that I'm even paying y'all no attention. And for me to get up out my seat off of a judge's panel, bitch, I live, okay? The children, you woke me up. Okay, and I re and I put a whole post up and everything, and I while well, I comment underneath the post that was put up in the group, and you did not respond back to me. I am really hurt by you for not responding back to my message, and you know who you are. I don't need to mention your name. Um, from that moment, I you have came a long way from that moment, from that day that I sent um Joel over to you. And told him to bring me to you. Yeah, yeah, you. Yes, you. I'm talking to you. Yes. Okay. You have came a long way from that day that I sent Joel over to you when I was sitting outside my car. I was sitting in my car outside the Kiki Ball at um, Twiggy's Ball. You have came a long fucking way. Every time I see you, your look has evolved. You're coming into yourself, bitch. And the way you woke that motherfucking building up. Was that Vogue Nights? I think that was Vogue Nights. The way you woke, woke that Vogue Nights up with that performance. I motherfucking live, okay? And I don't live for the girls, honey. 
But yes, you respond back to me when I write. You respond back. I don't. Res I don't write, and you know. I've been home. I've been home for three months. I don't write in that group. I don't talk in those groups. But when I write and I talk, I want a response back. Okay, baby, your look is everything. I'm loving. I'm loving the look, baby. Once you get once you get that body right, baby, you are going to be a triple threat, honey. Face, sex, siren, performance. Everything, baby. It's gonna be every. It's everything. It's everything already. But once you get that body tight and right, baby, it's gonna be everything. Okay, baby. They ain't gonna want you, baby. Okay. I can't wait. I can't wait to get to motherfucking Dallas, honey. Okay. To unleash you on the girls, honey. Okay, babe. Mo, what's up? I just shouted you out a few minutes ago, Mo. I shouted out all my sisters. Uh, Jaquetta, what's going on? How you doing? Do not make me feel like that I'm coming there. Uh, you're there. Listen, let me tell you something. You there. Trust me. You have came. Let me tell you something. When I seen you, every time I see you, I said to Jack that night at Vogue Nights, I said to Jack, I said, every time I see him, he reminds me more and more of Ruben every time I see him. And it seems like as you get older, you're going to come into your look even more as you get older. And your look is just, it, it's just like, you was a young boy, now you're into being your young man, and your look is just evolving every time I see you. Yes, baby, every time, every, baby, and it's just like, baby, oh my God, it's just like, I see it, I really see it. That's, I'm so, I am so happy that I send Joel over to you, baby. And I am so happy that you have been here since then and have not went any place or decided to go any place. I am so happy, like really. Like it's not many decisions, it's not many decisions that I make that I regret the decisions that I make. Just, you know, taking someone and seeing them and putting them in the house without a house meeting or any of that stuff. Cause you know, I got that power, honey, okay? And you are definitely one of those decisions that I made on the spot saying I'm going to put him in the house and he's not going to no house meeting that I definitely do got to say, bitch. I got to give my pat. I got to give myself a pat on the back, bitch. I did a good job. Okay. Hey, Mo, what's the tea? Keep ignoring me. I'm going to. Uh, what? Ali Kwan, baby. Ali Kwan, I keep telling you, baby, when I'm talking, I be paying the messages, especially when I'm giving my son life. Okay. Giving my son life right now, honey. I'm acknowledging my I'm acknowledging my child, honey. Baby, okay? I don't be I wasn't reading the messages. So now tell me what you said now, Aliquan. Cause I was uh I was giving my son life, honey. Okay. Please. So what's up, Aliquan? What's the deal? I know my sister Mo said something too, honey. Hold on. Let me see. Ciao, Mo. <laughs> Mo, stop, girl. Why you making me? Why you making me blush, Mo? Stop doing me like that, Mo. I don't know what is giving, Mo. I really don't. So you know, you would know better than me. I don't know. I still never. I still never. I still. I don't get no I don't get no response. I don't get no response. I still haven't got a response back from my inbox or anything. Uh, you know, Mo. So I don't know. So I don't know. Inbox me when you done. I have some questions before I start on this work. Okay, I will. I will, Ali Kwan. I will. I saw he said something. 
in here. He said hi. He said hi because um I said I, I hate people to come on. I hate and I and this is a really and this I hate people to come on the live and just get on live and just sit here and be watching you on live and don't even say hi or anything. So he said hi and that was it. That was it. So I need to go back up though. Hold on. Let me go back up to these through these messages. Honey, oh hold on. I have to go back up through my messages. So and that was it. Hey baby, how you doing? What's going on? We're just here, honey. I'm just waiting. I'm bored, honey. Deja was I don't even know what time is. Hold on. Let me look at my other phone. I got two I got two hours to wait for Deja to wake up from her nap so we can go up so we can go up to Nicole's for the cookout. So I'm just waiting for Deja to wake up from her nap and so we can go up to the cookout. We need a bus another Uno game. Oh, we could definitely bust another Uno game. I don't have a problem with whooping your ass, honey. The radio the radio starts on the radio starts on the six. Will be that Tuesday the sixth will be the first clapback segment of the radio show. And then the actual first week of Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesday will be the weekend of the 12th, the 13th, and the 14th will be the first week. And then every week after that, honey, we'll be there live on the air, honey. The girls come through, we'll be there, honey. Monique and Nicole, I don't know what's, I don't really know, uh, know what's going on with Tuesday night, baby. But what I can say is that uh, Monday night is established for Monday nights. And Wednesday nights, uh, Girls United is established with um, Monique and Nicole on uh, Wednesday night on Girls United. Those two nights are established. Butch Queen Iowa, I don't know what's going on with Butch Queen Iowa and everything of that nature. So, you know, yes, definitely tune in. Tell your girlfriends. Tell everybody, bitch, about the show, honey. We going down, honey. You know, and everybody keep asking about What's going to happen with Tim's of Chops? Um, Tim's of Chops, I guess they're going to still be around. But uh, that's not my concern. Because I got a lot of people asking me. Okay, so uh, you're doing your own show. I get in inboxes and all types of things. You're doing your own show, but what's going on with Tim's of Chops? I don't know what's going on with Tim's of Chops. That's not my concern. It's what's going on with Tim's of Chops, Sonny. So... Shout out, shout out to Baby Doll. Baby Doll Ebony has just entered the chat. What's going on, honey? Shout out to you and my goddaughter, honey. What's going on? What's the tea, honey? Shout out to all the single parents out there doing doing their thing, honey, and handling their responsibilities and acting like a parent and not acting like a motherfucking child. Okay? Shout out to that, honey. You definitely got to shout that out to all the single parents that's out there that's doing what they do because they can do it, bitch, and don't need no help from no one else, Sonny. And they taking care of their responsibilities and not running around with these dirty has bins. Honey, yeah. Mm hmm. Baby, yes, it's a mess, Sonny. I just be gagging it. Oh, Lord, let me stop. Because, bitch, then I'm going to start reading, honey, and I don't want to. And I don't want to read, baby. I'm trying to be nice. But it seems like I can't be nice. Oh, I need to take a photo like this, bitch, and put it up on Instagram, honey. When the light hits your face, and it just gives you that... Mm. Make a meme out of this. And put it up. Because the girls always like to steal, take a video shot and make a meme out of it. Bitch, fuck out of here. But nobody still told me. Everybody asking me questions, but no one still has uh, told me what are they doing for today. Shout out to Horace. Horace, I love you too. I don't know if you're still on the chat. I seen your heart. Shout out to you, honey. Shout out to you too, honey. I seen your uh, thing on there, honey. Your show is going to have tons of success. I hope it has tons of success. I really do. I hope it does. I hope it definitely uh, thrives and definitely gets out there. And, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot that goes in to doing a show and everything. It's not, it's, it's, everybody think that it's easy 
to take and uh, do a show, but it's not. It's a financial. It's financial. It's the uh, the time that you have to put in, and then it's also finding. It's also about finding people that are dedicated to come on the show and make sure they're there at least 10 minutes before the show is start and that they're on the line and they're ready to go. It's a lot that goes with it. And I used to do the show, when I first started the show, I used to do the show three nights a week. And it was a lot. And then I scaled back from three nights a week to two nights a week. And then I scaled back to one night a week. It is really a job and a task to do the show. So I, when I think about doing the show, I'm thinking about Monday night is secure with everything that's going to happen on Monday night. The other nights, I'm, I, I have to find people that are going to be dedicated to doing it. And you get a lot out of the show. You get like, even if you're, the show has made a lot of people. And gave a lot of people notoriety that was not noticed by people. Okay, that is what the show can do for you. Okay, it's a lot of these people that the girls never knew who these people was before they came on Tens of Chops. But now that they were on Tens of Chops, everybody knows their name. Everybody's chanting their name and everything. And that's because Tens of Chops has done that for them. And that's what the Jess Kelly show is going to do for people also. But I need dedicated people that is definitely going to be dedicated to sit down and discuss topics. And I don't want this show just to be all about ballroom. Monday night will be all about ballroom and the shade and the madness and all of that stuff on Monday night. But I want Tuesday night to be dedicated to the Butch Queens having a platform where they can come and sit and talk amongst themselves and get questions from the uh, audience and people that's calling in that they can help and give advice to each other just like the girls do in uh, Girls United and just like the girls is going to do on Girls United on Wednesday. On Wednesday night, Nicole, um, Monique, I know uh, Neambia calling the girls are the girls are going to be on on Wednesday night. The girls are going to be there and to be a support network for other transgender women that's in the community that is around can definitely call into the show and definitely seek advice from other transgender women, okay? About how taking moans about how to get this change, how to get this document, and how to get that. That is what Monique and Nicole is going to do live on the air on Wednesday night. And so any transgender woman that's out there, you don't even got to be a transgender woman. Because I know it's a lot of females that's out there that like a lot of the things that transgender women do, like how they dress, how they do their makeup, and all types of things. They are also able and more than likely can definitely call into the show and get advice from the girls because I know a lot of the girls like y'all see my video I did last night I was spazzing out on one of my mother friends because listen I don't get paid to give y'all advice okay if y'all not gonna be seeking advice from me because y'all see me coming out the projects or something and I looking cute and talk about oh girl where you got that from you need to take me shopping and all that Monique and Nicole will definitely be able to help the girls with that and you know it's a lot of girls that dress certain ways and all types of things that shouldn't be dressed in certain ways and Monique and Nicole can definitely help the girls and direct them to where they need to go and teach them how to it's a lot of girls that's out here that don't get their right size and clothes and everything but they think they're a woman and they think it looks cute, but it's not. But Monique and Nicole, Niambi, the different people that they're panelists that they're going to have in can definitely um help them. So I'm about to go do something, honey, and wait for uh, Deja to wake up from her nap so we can go and uh to the cookout. So um I'll talk to y'all soon. I'm out of here.